Hey everyone, welcome back to Hasasha Motivated Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, watch my channel always. Today we are delving into the world of technology as we explore how to create a virtual hard drive on Windows 10. We'll discuss what a virtual hard drive is, why it matters, the step-by-step -step process to create one, and also to touch upon some of the potential drawbacks. So without further ado, let's get started! A virtual hard drive is like a digital storage compartment within your computer allowing you to separate and manage your files just like a physical hard drive. The key difference, entirely virtual, living within your existing hard drive. Yeah, we have importances of virtual hard drives. Uh, organization. Virtual hard drives help maintain order in your digital life by categorizing files efficiently. We have number two, flexibility. They enable you to try new software, run different operating systems, and experiment without affecting your main system. We have backup, virtual hard drives make creating and restoring backups a breeze, ensuring your data safety. We have security, you can create encrypted virtual drives for sensitive documents, adding an extra layer of protection. Uh, if you have issues with space, this may be a trick, simple video for you to temporarily solve your space issues as you prepare to buy to replace your hard disk or find yourself an external hard drive. So let's see the steps on how to create this virtual hard drive. The very first step will be to come to search bar here. Then you type this PC, then it will appear here, right click, then go to manage. Our target is to go to the disk management. We are going to create a virtual hard drive. So here it will open disk management, so you click on disk management. When you click on disk management, this, uh, it will show you the drives that you have on your computer. We have drive C, we have drive D. Uh, this is my virtual drive, but we are going to create another one. I'm going to check you through uh, how we create a new one. So what do we do? Uh, we come to action. Uh, then you click create VHD when you click create VHD it will bring this option it wants you to select the location first of all this has it says specify the virtual hard disk location you have to specify the location where you want your hard drive to go uh, so there are some tricks you have to do on this page you have a virtual hard disk format which is VHD. This one supports over 2 GB, almost almost 2 GB in size. Then we have VHDX. It says this one supports virtual disks larger than 2040. 2 GB still. Here maximum 64 GB, 64 terabytes. 
and is resilient to power failure events. This format is not supported in operating systems earlier than Windows 8 or Windows Server 2012. So it's up to you either to select the format you want. If you want more than 2 terabytes, then you go for VHDX. If you want less than 2 terabytes, you use VHD. Then here we go to the virtual hard disk types. You have a fixed size which is recommended. The virtual hard disk file is allocated to its maximum size when the virtual hard disk is created. Uh -huh, we have dynamically expanding. The virtual hard disk files grow to its maximum size as data is written to the virtual drive. So this one grows as data is written to it. <coughs> Excuse me. So now let's proceed to selecting the location. You click browse, then it will take you to the location. In particular, for me I'll use local disk D because I want to find it. I want to find it there even when I reinstall my Windows. Remember when you reinstall Windows, the drive D doesn't disappear. So I'll put it in this location. Uh, let me create a new folder. Control Shift N. Let me call it YouTube. I've called it YouTube. So here I'll put the file. I'll create the file called virtual hard drive so I'm creating a, a file called virtual hard drive <coughs> then I'll save so our virtual hard drive will be located in the folder YouTube the file name is virtual hard drive so here we specify the size <coughs> if you want GBs if you want MBs if you want a terabyte you have to Select TB, then specify the number of bytes you want. So here I'll use one terabyte. Uh, so just use one terabyte. We are going to create a virtual VHD. Then here you have to select dynamically expanding. So when you click OK, the virtual hard drive will be created here. So you see it's exactly one TB, but it is unallocated. So what do you do? Here is our terabyte, but it's not initialized. So to initialize it, what do you do? You right click here, then initialize the disk. You see that? So when you click initialize the disk, it will take you to this page. It says you must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. So you can't use it unless uh, the Disk Manager has access to it. So it says use the following partition style for the selected disks. We have MBR, Master Boot Record. We have GPT, GUID, Partition Table. Mm. So in this case, we won't change anything. We will go with MBR. Note, the GPT style is not recognized by all previous versions of Windows. Those, the lower ones. But MBR, as you know, even when you're installing Windows, MBR is supported. So we will click OK so that our drive comes online. So here you see it's now online, meaning we can use it. But before we use it, we have it is unallocated space. It is unallocated space, so we have to we have to first uh, create a new simple volume. So you right click and click new simple volume. It's now like a normal hard drive. So when you say click a new simple volume, uh, here is the wizard that will help you to do it to create the new drive. So when you click next, next, here it will tell you to assign the space that you wish. 
but since it's already assigned we just go to next next here my 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 system has assigned bit volume the H it has assigned drive letter H here the, there's nothing you need to change maybe if you want to change the name let this one since this one is uh, <coughs> for demonstration purposes I'll call it YouTube so that so here it's going to perform a quick format just like any new drive for example when you install a new hard drive it will take you through this process as it first format before using it so here when we click next yeah so this is now the final step the wizard is taking us through so we have volume type simple volume disk selected disk to volume size one gb one terabyte disk letter drive letter is h file system is ntfx allocation unit size default volume label ah uh, youtube we've called the folder the drive youtube quick format yes enable file compression folder compression no it depends on what you want if you want to compress it's okay so to close this wizard click finish so we'll click finish so as you see our disk is formatting it's already formatted either you use this format to visit the disk open it will take you to the disk so this is the disk the new disk very fresh very clean so you can put all your files here or you can use the normal the normal method this pc then here is our drive our new drive we've just created youtube it is volume h can we try to paste some files here and see if it is really working so here i'll look for a file to paste there i'll copy this excel file copy and paste on our drive paste you see that now i'll delete the original file and let me copy this file again okay copy then paste on my pc so it's like it now works like a normal hard drive as you see when you check here the file is there so briefly that's how we create a virtual drive on windows 10 so if you have space issues you can take advantage of this method this trick yeah to help you save space as you prepare to buy a new hard disk this will save you some time and money congratulations you've successfully created a virtual hard drive on windows 10 using this management tool this virtual hard drive will function like any other drive on your system allowing you to store files folders and data just like you would on a physical drive remember the virtual hard drive created using this method stored within your existing drive if you're looking for more advanced virtualization options then you will consider using software like virtualbox or vmware if you find this guide helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel sasha motivated for more tech tips and guides thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video